Today's adventure takes Kevin back to Shim Creek in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, where he meets up with Captain Chris Orvin of Overdose Fishing Charters. Our trip with Chris promises to keep you on the edge of your seat as they go after speckled trout in some of the most scenic areas of South Carolina's low country. Stay tuned, it's all here today on the Santee Cooper Sportsman with Kevin Davis. Just wanted to let you know that this segment of the Santee Cooper Sportsman with Kevin Davis is brought to you by the fine people of Berkeley County. Chris, so we just put in at Shim Creek boat landing and we are going to go out to the harbor and we're going to go creek fishing, pretty much in the creeks for um, spot tail and trout. That's right. We're going to a very, very secret spot. It's so secret the fish don't even know about it, right Chris? That's right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're going to slay them. But um, most of your guide trips, this is what you do, you put in at Shim Creek, don't That's you? Right. You fish That's out right. of Mount Pleasant most mm -hmm. of the time? That's right. But you fish the lakes too? I do. Okay. For catfish, catfish, crappie, striper, crappie, largemouth, bass, Cooper River. Anything wants to bite. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> We had one on first, very first cast, had one on. Um, Captain Chris has got us here. We got a little water coming out of this feeder creek. And all of this is oyster shells under here, right? Oyster rocks. And um, had one on the very first cast. Slack cameraman wasn't ready, but that's okay. <laughs> but we're getting ready to get another one right now. It was a trout, it was about a 14, 15 inch trout. And um, I love this spot. Now you've been fishing here for a while, haven't you, Chris? Yeah, a couple of weeks here. And you don't caught some fish here. Yeah, caught a lot. I mean, a good many, huh? Yeah. Caught trout and spot tail. A couple nice uh, trout and a bunch of spot tail right here. So. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, I tell you what, threw it in that first time. It no more hit the water. It just kept right on going. What are we using here? We're using um, we're using some shrimp, some artificial shrimp. They yeah. Kinda, they look just just like the shrimp that's in here, the little grass shrimp. Uh huh. They hard to catch in the net, so you almost got to try to duplicate them. Yeah. With some kind of market. Okay. And these corks, these are just regular old Cajun corks, aren't they? Yes, sir. And then this shrimp, what do you call this, Chris? That right there is a savage, no, that's a voodoo shrimp right there. Voodoo shrimp, that is one pretty thing. Got him on. Oh, yeah. Another and, trout. And he's going to be a little on the short side, but we all right. Chris, it takes a very talented guide to save all the big fish for the guest. That's right. It does, don't it? <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Chris. It does. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, old boy. That's the thing I like about Chris, you can give him a hard time, he can take it. That's right. There he is. Good fish. Dog, two casts in a row for two you guys. Two casts in a row. Go ahead now. Now I'm starting to get a little jealous. No, I, had, I, had, I, had, I had to get it back even. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this to get is it a back good even. one too, isn't it? Yeah, he's, he's going to oh, be yeah, a keeper. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. That's he's nice. He's going to be a keeper. That's going to be a He's going to... He is going to make the trip home with us. Got him on, got him on. Got him on. Come here. Another throwback. We catch them all shapes and sizes, don't we, Chris? That's right. 
See you later. All right, go get bigger. Tell your mama. <laughs> Chris, you yes, got sir. on a fish, don't you? Yes, I do. Not just a fish, this is a fish. This is a fish. Yes. This is a big old, what is it, a trout? Yeah, it's a trout. It's amazing now, most of them, as soon as you hook them, they start oh, shaking yeah. that head. He didn't do that, did he? No, he didn't. He's right at it, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He got that thing down in his mouth, though. Go right. You ain't kidding. Didn't they like that thing? He had to have it. He had to have it. I love eating those things. Oh, yeah. Quarter inch to spare. That's right. That's what you want. Um. Now, Chris, when you take out a charter, when you take out a um, fishing party, mm -hmm. you don't always leave it to crack of daylight, do you? No. So we didn't leave till what? 12 today. 12.30? Mm -hmm. You go by the tide. I go by the tide sometimes. Okay. Sometimes, you know, when we have those double trips, you know, we will leave at the crack of dawn, but sometimes yeah. I come back in and go back out at two o'clock and stay till dark. Well, what's your favorite tide to fish? If I'm gonna come out here for the trout, I usually like the incoming tide, mm -hmm. a low tide coming in. And we got an incoming now. We got an incoming now. Um, and we're actually gonna hopefully catch a little bit of both. There you go. Oh, oh, we're gonna hopefully uh, catch a little bit of both yep. and um, hopefully get some nice redfish action later on on top water. And that's, I see. That's what I'm waiting on. Can we just do that now? <laughs> we can try. <laughs> Might not catch that. <laughs> Might no. not catch that right now. But that's how it is out here. I mean, you fish by the tide. That's this tide right. you do that, that tide you go do that. That's and, right. And the thing is, knowing what to do when. Isn't that's it? right. You just want that. Ooh, I just had another one. Followed. I was reeling it in to cast again. He followed it and like to broke my um, wrist. But anyway, um, you uh, incoming. We want to fish for trout where we are right now. That's right. And you're gonna give me a GPS coordinate for this spot a little bit later. Maybe. And, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And um, but that high tide now, like real high tide, mm -hmm. you'll fish for the um, spot tail when they're tailing. That's right. And we'll tail um, up out of the water. Tail up out of the water just as pretty as it can be. And if you ain't ever done it, you need to get out and do it. All right. If somebody wants to come fishing with you and do just that, mm -hmm. how do they get in touch with you? They can give me a call at uh, eight four three. 509-2306 or they could go to my website at overdosefishingcharters.net. All right. Beautiful. And they can get in touch with me by email uh, and all that's on the website or by phone. Um, and I, I answer the phone just about all the times in the night. All right. So they can call you three, four o'clock in the morning. If that's they want right. To. If they want to. <laughs> if they want to. Hey man, I'm having a great time. <laughs> me too. Thank you. Yes sir. Thank y'all awesome. for coming. There you go. Another trout. Look at that head shaker. Yes, Come here, sir. boy. Come here, oh, boy. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Them things pull, too, you know. Don't they, though? No? Don't they? Oh, Come that's, that might that's be another a keeper. one of them keeper fish. Yes, there. sir. That's a keeper. He's a thick across the shoulder, too. He is. Ah. You know it's a trout, because the moment you hook them, boy, they shake, 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 shake. Dude. You know it? Mm-hmm. That's a shaking rascal. That ain't a flounder. Yep. Come here. And they're slimy, too. Hardy. Yeah, you gonna have fun cleaning up the bottom of that boat later. <laughs> Golly. All right, he's well over 14. Good, good. Boy, that's a pretty spot. There he is. Woo! I hear drag uh, pulling out. Here, I got the trolling motor, catch fit. I don't think that's a trout. What do you think, Captain Chris? No, it ain't no trout. <laughs> <laughs> Although if it is, it's a big one. That's a big one. It's either a big old good or a good old big. I know. He's shaking big. his head. Oh, it is a trout. I mean, a nice trout. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to get that net on that one. All right. That thing's off, Kev, so it, it won't go nowhere. What now? This trolling motor's off, so it ain't gonna go nowhere. Ooh, that's a trout, son. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. That's beautiful. Great, daddy. That's. You think he'll keep? Yeah. No, I think he might, you might need to throw that one back. Oh, boy, that's a pretty one now. Golly, that's what we came for. That is why I called Captain Chris Orvin right there. That's a nice trout. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's Maggie May there. <laughs> pretty, 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 pretty. Yes, All sir. right, you think we ought to measure him? Nah. No. Okay. He's probably pushing 18 easy. 
Nice. I, I think us. we might need to turn around. Huh? I think we might need to turn around. I turned the turbo motor off. I'm sorry. No, I turned it off. Oh, okay. I was just drifting with the water. That's nice, now. Lord have mercy. Let's do that again. Hello, folks. My name is Kevin Davis. I'm the Santee Cooper Sportsman. I tell you what, I love to fish. I love to fish Santee Cooper country, and I tell you why. Seems like something's always biting on Santee Cooper, whether it be world record shell cracker, giant catfish, plentiful stripers, big brim and crappie. Seems like something, no matter what time of the year, something is biting on these lakes. Another thing I like about Santee Cooper, there's so many different fishing situations. You've got stumps, you've got drop-offs, you've got dense swamp, You've got underwater islands, you've got underwater river channels, creek channels, so many different fishy spots. I'll tell you another thing I like about Sandy Cooper. There's so many great fish camps and campgrounds on Sandy Cooper. Nice people run them, great food, great lodging, cabins, motel rooms, campgrounds. You got a lot of different lodging situations here on the lakes. What do I think about when I think of Sandy Cooper country? The great friendly people the super fishing, the beautiful undeveloped landscapes. These are the things that make Santee Cooper country my favorite place in the whole wide world. I definitely want to get up around that oyster bank over there. Switched over to top water. What's that you're throwing? That is a mirror lure. Okay, because you said it's so overcast and such a beautiful day, yep. you switched over to a top water bit. I mean, he knocked it too, <laughs> didn't he? Smacked Sound it. like somebody flushed a toilet under him. That's Ooh. right. Look at that. That's beautiful. What is that? That a is mirror a lure? mirror lure. Okay. Top water model. Look That's at that. right. And it's a keeper trout. There's them. Um, Why am I taking this fish off for you? I don't know. I mean, but <laughs> hey, I'll let you do whatever I'm so used you want to do. It. I've been guiding for so long and. On Sandy Cooper, I'm used There's to it. Pliers at your side if you need them. Oh, these things. Yeah, those oh. things. They make oh. life way easier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You think you need to throw it out? I don't back. think we need to measure him either. No. Nah. Look at that. All right. <clears throat> he hit it. Keep doing what you're doing, Chris. <laughs> yeah. You know. Ooh. He wants it, he wants it, he wants it. <laughs> he got it. Good job, Captain <laughs> Chris. That. that son of a gun hit it five times before he got a hook. Yeah, he did. He? Yeah, he did. He popped it almost two or three inches out of the water. <laughs> Look at there. You gotta be good to do that. <laughs> Catch him outside of the mouth like that. That's right. There he is, right there by the boat. <laughs> that might be right another one of the keepers. That might be a keeper. That might be a keeper. Looks He's a little, right at the line, isn't he? He looks a little long. Pretty hard to hold. Oh, man. Woo, we came back to the first spot we fished. Fishing got slow on the last spot. We didn't catch one for 10 minutes. So we came back on this um, first spot. That's right. And about the about third or fourth on. cast, hello. There he is. Another trout. Bites the dust. Top. And I think it's another keeper. That'll be close, isn't it? Long and skinny. I don't want to hurt you. Ah. Oh, stop it. <laughs> there he is. Look at that. Oh, you see that, John? No. Boy. Golly, I love that noise. Huh? <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh, right in the boat. Got him, got him. Oh, Captain no. Chris got, oh. Throw it back up, right in the boat. All right, all right, all right. All right. Boys, they in here. All right, Chris, now we caught trout till our arms are falling off. Now, t look at this, this is a big flat, right? Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do here? Well, what you got is you got a bunch of water coming out of these creeks. The tide never really got high. Yeah. But at the mouths of these creeks coming into the ICW, you have natural shell rakes and you have man-made shell rakes. Mm -mm. You also have a bunch of debris like trees, stumps, you know, almost anything. 
And what's going to happen is these redfish is moving back out of these creeks, which they thought it was going to get high, but it didn't. Mm. So we're going to try to intercept them. Intercept them? That's right. I love it when you talk dirty like that. <laughs> I'm going to get my rock. Let's do it. Chris, where that grass is knocked down. Mm -hmm. What is that? That's where a boat's actually going up in there to pole or pull up there so they can walk that flat. Ah. Um, see, when that tide gets up, those fish will get up in that little bit of thin grass. <laughs> yeah. And they'll, uh, they'll start tailing. Wow. But, um, like I said before, we just didn't have that high of a tide as we should have. Yeah. It's all right. But it's okay. <clears throat> Chris. Hey, yes, sir. You're starting to make me look bad. Ah, uh, well, you know. <laughs> I'm I just can, kidding. I can only well, try. What is that, about three casts in a row? Yep. And he's Golly. another. Golly. You he's, need to net, too, don't you? Nah, okay, you got him. You got him. Oh, he's nice. Beautiful. Down in the throat Good there. Good Lord, let me catch one while you fiddle around with Go the camera, man. Man, what a nice fish. They're all nice fish. <laughs> He's coming right to the boat. Another trout. Boy, that was nice. All right, let's go back here and you measure. Where is that tape? I'll get it. You go ahead. All right. Nice. Boy, he hit it with a vengeance. He hit it with a vengeance. Chris? Yes, sir. This has been a fun day, Bo. It has. This has been a fun day. Thank you. It has, yes sir. Man, Thank y'all. I'm honored to go fishing with you. Um, I don't think he'll keep, nope. but boy, he's beautiful, isn't he? Yes, he is. Uh, folks, thank you for coming fishing with us today. Again, Captain Chris Orvin out of Charleston, South Carolina, overdose fishing charter on the on the web. Um, couldn't couldn't ask for a better day. We caught trout coming out the kazoo. My arms are a little bit tired from catching trout, and uh, it was fun. Thank you again, Chris. Yes, we'll sir. We'll do it Anytime. again sometime. We will. All Anytime. Right. Thank you. Yeah, man. getting late and we had to leave. Kevin would have stayed till midnight the way the fish were biting but we had to get back. We also knew we were losing daylight as the sun disappeared over the horizon and it was time to get back to Shim Creek which is always a pleasure to come back to. It's lined with so many wonderful seafood restaurants we had to choose which one. We finally made our choice and had a great meal. We'd show you that but it's not a pretty sight to watch hungry fishermen eat.